What is up guys, this is the Airsoft Ranger, and today, or tonight, whenever you're watching it, filming it at night, this is my gun that I recently reviewed and unboxed, so check that out. Um, this is how I'll set up my gun in future games. Uh, there will be a full loadout coming, because I've made some edits to my JPC, and that'll be out probably tomorrow. So check that out tomorrow. Uh, let's get right into this. My stock I kept um, from the original gun, I haven't changed that at all. I like that. Um... Nothing changed with the upper lower receiver. I kept the flip-up sight folded down, and I'm using my 9 times magnification scope um, so I can see my targets before I am able to hit them. This is really good for the woods, a uh, woodland environment, I feel, because um, behind trees and stuff, people like to hide there, zooming in, make sure there's no one like sticking their gun out there or anything like that. Um, my gun has very, very good range. The shooting test will be up soon. Uh, it was just really rainy today, and I didn't feel like doing it. But, yeah, I will be changing this out maybe to a red dot, depending on the environment. For CQB, I'll do the red dot. But um, the scope will be more for the woods. Uh, it's a quick quick change out, so if I need to, I can change it out. Um, Four grip right here, foldable. So if I want to get into a sniper position, I can fold that right up and put my bipod down. Um, and vice versa, I can switch it out. Um, the rail, the same. I just moved the rail segments down from the original part right there. I have my Surefire flashlight in Dark Earth with a pretty cheap flashlight mount I got from an older gun. Um, and this is pressurized. I don't have the batteries in because they're really, really expensive batteries. But you just press this button lightly and it'll shine. It's very, very bright. I'll do a review of this um, on my channel sometime soon. But uh, you can turn this all the way up to make it continually shine. Or you can do the, the pressurized like thump with your hands. So you can like do it really quickly to do a strobe or something like that. Um, yep. So I kept the flip-up sight on the top here just in case I want to run the red dot through there. I've already got the red dot sighted into these uh, iron sights right now um, just in case I want to use the red dot, which I probably will end up using the majority of the time. Um, bipod, for as I said earlier, being a sniper, I have my uh, barrel extension up um, down here, right there. Get that out real quick. So this is my JBU suppressor. If you guys didn't already know that, haven't seen my videos. I'll be doing a review of this sometime soon. I'm not exactly sure when. Not making any promises on what the dates are going to be. But yeah, that just screws right into there. Um, and right now I've got it set up for more of a long range scenario, but it's very, very easy to switch it out. Just switch the scope out and you're pretty much done. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a review. Um, not so much a review, but an overview, I guess you should say, of my gun, how I set it up. Um, and uh, like I said, full loadout coming tomorrow. I made some edits to my kit. Uh, I put an updated kit, but this is going to be like a full loadout, not just my first and second line setups. Um, but yeah, um, put it in the uh, comments if you guys want to see more uh, gun uh, overviews or you want to see more loadout videos. I'll probably stick to making uh, a vlog. I know a vlog will be coming out probably sometime this week, next couple of days, um, just doing an overview of how the channel has been going. But yeah, thank you guys for the uh, the views, 303 views. We reached over 300. Thank you guys for that so much. Um, we make sure to put out more content for you guys to watch. I uh, enjoy doing that. I enjoy you guys watching the videos. So until next time, Airsoft Ranger out.